it all right it's gassed up held a big 87 cents Bang the wheelie at the gas station got my fucking phone That's usually how it fucking goes for me. Forgot to strap it down. Picked it up though. We got it. Well, it's a hell way to start a ride. Banging a wheelie. Lost my cellular phone. Let's see if we can latch her down here again yeah all right y'all are strapped back in there now adjust it back man these ram x grips are good but if you don't latch them down man you're banging some wheelies Try to lose these motherfuckers. All right, got charging again. Got some music going. Now let's head to the mountain. Doing my whopping 45 miles an hour, holding up with the speed limit. Didn't fuck my phone up. That's a plus. Hell yeah. So it's a known fact. If you get behind a car with handicap tags here in East Tennessee, your grum is not going to be the thing holding up traffic. It'll be them all the time. Facts. Here's a Nola Chucky Dam. Be nice. Be out there doing a little catfishing right about now. Actually, about 12 hours ago would've been nice. Probably sucks this morning. There's that girl, or that car up in front of me got this drum stretched out. I'll catch back up to him, low. All right, car's out the way. Now we're wound for sound. Big old 59. Let's get 60. Come on, let's get 60. It ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. Fuck it, I still like it. No traffic behind me. You know, as slow as I want now. Heading to the mountains to see them up there. I'm gonna go through those mountains. There's some curvy roads. There's some switches, you know. Dip this baby over a little bit. Let them mattresses hook up and them turns. Ain't no chicken lines on this beast. I'm just playing. I'm slow as hell. But after I get through them turns, I'll hit gravel. Where I'm a little quicker. I'm ready for it. Alright, this hill's about to put a strain on a little bike. Oh, dropping quick. Dropping quick. Drop down in gear. Call this baby the dragonfly. Drags up one side of the mountain and flies down the back side. Come on, old 45. Come on, gotta, gotta hump it. Get it going. Come on, little Grom. Come on, get on there. Come on, Grom. And go from 42 and then hump it. Oh, 41, hump it. Ah, oh, yeah, 43. See? Get a little bit. All right, now I gotta get this speed up. Get this other side of the. The, the Big Rock Canyon Mountains. I don't think I can shift yet, though. Ah, going for gold, going for gold. Oh shit, big truck. Plus, I had some power lines down last night. We had some storms. Probably tree down. Probably can't go. I want to go down, shift again. Oh, we're dropping it. We are dropping that speed. Oh, we're going to hold right at 43, 44. Y'all got to remember that I'm a big dude. 300 pounds. 
A little more. Depends if I took a dump or not. Alright, made it into the turns. Or probably high side or low side, whatever the fuck y'all call it. Kind of wet too. Pretty good turns. Got the ground pegged out. Man, this thing just takes a beat. Pretty fun. I had a car on my ass when I went into them. That I dropped down behind me some. Actually, I can't even see them in the mirror no more. Just keep her pinned. Keep her right out of the rev limiter the whole time. And she loves it. Oh, I can see the car catching up to me. This one's, oh, this is a tight turn, tight turn. Woo, scrubbed. My frame's, my rear set safe was scrubbed on that turn. That scared me a little bit. But I'm still gonna send it. Now when we get through these mountains, I'll be able to hit gravel here and shot me. Now that I'm out of them hills and coming down, Way more speed. I lost that truck again, but he's going to catch me just as soon as I hit these straightaways before my turn. I'll, I'll let him. I'll let him win the battle in the straightaways, but that old man needs to know I smoked his ass in them turns. No regrets. Damn! I just caught a rock with my foot. I'm riding in Crocs because I think it's going to rain on me. I feel like my toenails peeled back. I'd be surprised if I don't pull off a damn crock full of blood. I know it's oh, put my leg up for this shit from now on. Damn, uh, from now on I need to ride in boots. That is my stupid ass for riding in crocs. What a stupid fucking move. Here's some ponds though. Power slide. Mm, how fucked up is my foot? Not bad. Ah. Damn. Damn it, like flipping my toenail back. That shit hurts. Let's see what the sign says. Bad move riding in Crocs. These are trout ponds. Passed them before. Never fished in them. That's because I, I really don't fish because the only thing I can ever catch is a buzz. Oh yeah, what's this say about this shit here? I ain't never read. That Dillard place. The Dillard family once owned this beautiful 147 acres of property. After a severely flood damage, a big flood in 2001, the family donated the property to the Forest Service. Ha! <laughs> That's all I gotta read, fucking idiots. Never donate property to the Forest Service. Fuck them assholes. All right. Say enough of this place. Here they donated it. Should donate it to the damn county or something. Woo, America! Saturdays are for the boys. Oh, come on. I can do better than that. Mountain Road. Hitting the asphalt. About to hit some gravel. It's gonna be wet. This, this mofo gonna be muddy. That's what I like. Pretty fun in the snow up here. I hit, I hit this turn in the razor and just fucking send it. gravel right up here. It used to go to gravel way down there. Man, they did have a storm come through last night. I don't know who this is. What we got here? What we got here? Bear Hunter. 
I ain't no bear hunter. That is somebody taking the trash off. Well, there's only like, I think this driveway right here is the last, last house on this road. Now we hit the gravel. Now I can really tell how bad this suspension is. Oh shit! Ah! Well, clapped out the front suspension on that one. I've been thinking about ponying up the money for the Owens suspension for this. Oh my goodness. Ah! Maybe I ought to slow it down a tad. Oh no, I got ACDC playing in my headphones. It's gonna go wide open. Man, it sucked to encounter like a bear on this Grom because hey look, I don't I really don't think I can outrun it. I guess I just have to impress them with my wheelies. Or maybe just teach the bear how to ride the Grom. Ah! Oh man, this suspension sucks. But I'm um, straight ripping it for a Grom. Oh, oh! Just give it a gas, feed it a corn. Man, if y'all got a Grom and ain't hit a gravel road with them yet, just do it. Groms love gravel roads. Plus, dude, it's fun as hell to rip these on these gravel roads. Oh. Suspension sucks, man, but man, this Grom's a fucking blast. Slid a little bit with me in that turn. I'm sure on camera it looks slow as hell and boring. But dude, this Grom's I'm running. You see that speedometer? 33. Oh, we got, we got a, we got a trail open. Decisions, decisions. Do the responsible thing and stay on gravel, or bang that trail. I'm by myself, so I better do the responsible thing. But yeah, man. Just wind it out, bang that red limiter, and then shift. These grums love to be abused. It's a fact. It was in the Honda's owner manual. It said bang them off rebel before you shift them. Oh my goodness. What? These little tires on these big rocks is wild. Somebody's done knock out. Move that back out of the road. It looks like today. around a little bit. Glad I ain't got the EBS version or ABS, EBS, what the fuck am I thinking? Oh yeah, we recording? Yeah. Check out that view. We're way up. Look at the mountain tips over there. Hell yeah. I'm gonna go to the very tippy tippy top. Get a hell of a look at the view. Yeah, boy. All right. We have made it to the top. Man, it's windy up here. Temperature feels way warmer than it was in them trees. Probably just the sunshine makes it feel like that. Oh, it's a hot hole on this road. There used to be a ski slope up here. I guess that's why this is paved. There used to be chalets and stuff up over here well, this right here is probably the best view in Greenville in Green County Tennessee boy oh yeah it's some mud bogging y'all ready for this y'all ready for this look at that I am above the clouds on this Honda Grom on this Majestic beast right here got me up here. I mean, you're talking $3,300 to everything out the door. Look where I'm at. Look at this nasty motherfuckers. 
trashy people, I swear. Look at this. Used to be an old ski slope went down around through there. There's all Greenville right over there. I told you I live in the fucking country. I ain't shit. Look down there. Tell me y'all see anything. I see some houses. Right over there is Uncle Ted's moonshine still. Look at that. Black stacks over there. Appalachian Trail runs through there. Man, it is freaking amazing up here. Look at that view. Look at the mountains over there peeking above the clouds. Oh, man, I have to follow those on right up at the repeaters for all the state radio and stuff in this area. It goes to these towers right here. Used to be mud holes right there when I was in high school. They blocked it all off. But now we're here. We got a pinch of grizzly long cut wintergreen, boy. Because it takes a man to pinch a bear. Look at the goodies in this saddlebag. I got Dr. Enough and a beef and cheese. Gotta watch for Sasquatch now. Yeah. All right, y'all. So I'm still up here just taking a break. Just ate my beef and cheese. About to drink my Dr. Enough. Drink my water. Throw me a dip of backer in. Just playing on my phone a little bit. I ain't got shit for signal. I've just been taking some pictures and bullshitting. Got all them towers right there. I'm just going to hang out here. Probably 20, 30 minutes. Take it in. Wish I would have bought a trash bag. I don't know where I would have put it, but I would have found a way to pick them trash up from redneck motherfuckers. But, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing. There's Grom and all that's glory. Man, them tires are holding up good. I'm liking them. I am liking them. They're, they're running good, running good. Got this from 402 Industries. People flame it, but look at that. Got me spare water up in there. I'll take it. Not a bad way to start a Saturday morning. It is, what time is it? 901. Grom's got 1732 miles on her as of now. Catch back with y'all on the flip side. Alright. Getting ready to leave. Look at this. I've been thinking. I'm betting there's a couple come up here, split their hurricane 40 ounces. Dude probably got it in. This morning they're probably trying to bum money for fucking plan B pills, but fuck it. Sometimes plan B is the plan A. I'm gonna get off this mountain. This wind's blowing. I'm about to get a storm coming in. I'm gonna fire up my hog and roll out. There's a hell of a view right there. Yep, I need to do some adventure camping on this thing. Pack up and hit the road. Came off the mountain, and I'm thinking about turning right up here on Green Mountain Road and ride it out. My buddy's going to the shop, so figured I might ride over there to the shop. I don't know what he's doing. Probably working on a dump truck or dozer or something. Hard to tell. But I'm going to bang this road out. Probably it's already it's 9.45 now. I got another 45 minutes to an hour down this other road. So this video is probably going to be kind of long if anybody's even still watching it. Y'all tell me what to talk about. I mean, I, I'm mainly just riding around bullshitting, so give me some tips. All right, on the other road. Nice creek there. Somebody must be building on a log cabin. Man, they've cleaned all this up. There's somebody about to build them something nice up here. What's up, horses? I got the horses in the back. So yeah, I don't know where exactly I'm gonna be going with this channel. I'm into a little bit of everything. I just, I ain't been riding the Razor lately. I ain't really done a whole lot of like 
truck camping overlay and stuff. Weather's been fucking shitty. I'm gonna uh, run this old man down. What y'all think? I'm just playing. He probably whooped my ass. Guarantee you. Him running like that, he's in way better shape than my fat ass. Whip my ass and take my bike, I stopped. One of the mountain men. Nah, he's probably one of them guys that moved up here, moved down here from Illinois. So yeah, I don't I don't know what to talk about, man. I, pretty much all I really do is you know, you watch these other like motorcycle vloggers and stuff and they're riding their bike through like cities and shit and they got like more content. I mean, I ain't got a whole lot of shit to talk about. I mean, I got trails and I really ain't done a whole lot of trails on. Ooh. Splashed water all over my legs there. But, I mean, I, all I got to do is ride around and talk shit to like horses and cattle and stuff. And I'm just what here in the county. What the fuck is that? I got 20 bucks because there's a meth lab in the back of that car. But yeah, I mean, all I got to do is really like ride around and talk shit. I mean, I get some pretty good views and stuff. Like that ain't much of a view. That's about all I got to do. Motherfucker, turn signal on. I'm reckless. But, yeah, hopefully something, we'll see something interesting on this road. There's a semi-truck went off right there a while back. That's the kind of shit I got to talk about. Dumbasses do stuff in the country. All right, let's record. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck happened here. Look at this. Like a headlight bulb. It looks like a... Headlight scattered all through here. I just don't know what the hell they would have hit. Looks like somebody busted a damn headlight, but I don't I don't see any any like place where they would have went off. Let's go back here and look. Man, I don't see I don't see anything around here that somebody would have hit don't see nothing off the end of the mountain man it's hard to tell what kind of shit you see around here I don't know what the hell that was from definitely somebody smashed the headlight but I don't see anywhere where they would have done it I don't know if y'all been on YouTube and seen uh, the guy's name's Friday's the Bomb. He uh, does a lot of like camping video and he rides around the desert a lot. He's got a XR 650L. It's a pretty sweet bike, pretty sweet gear. If uh, y'all are into watching people like do like a different style moto vlog, kind of like what I'm doing, just riding around in the woods and you know talking in the camera and stuff. Definitely check out Friday's the bomb. He's a uh, he's got some wicked comment or content and uh, His videos are real cool. He's way better at like video editing stuff than I am You know, I got I bought Adobe Premiere Elements, but I don't I ain't figured out how to like Chop it up not all the graphics and shit like that So definitely if y'all are into that check out Friday's the bomb. He's pretty good There's also T-Dub's kid He's got some awesome videos on YouTube doing pretty much the same thing. And he rides a Honda TW, or blah, 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 not a Honda, a Yamaha TW200. He does a lot of camp videos. And man, that dude has some freaking skills when it comes to editing and video. It amazes me. I've been, I've been watching those two pretty heavy here lately. And if y'all like even remotely like this video, y'all gonna love their shit. They got, you know, they live in different parts of the country. They got 
like uh, Friday's the bomb. I'm thinking he's in New Mexico or somewhere like that. And T Dub's kid, I I'd say he's like up northwest somewhere. Man, they got some beautiful places to ride. A lot, a lot like a lot of trails and everything. They can ride for days. I mean, I I can too here in this region, but. If y'all are into like motorcycle blogging in the woods and people just talking and all that, definitely checking people out. I'd say this video is getting pretty long right about now. So I'm probably gonna end it here. I'm almost at the end of this road. I'm gonna stop by my buddy's shop and then uh, head to the house because it's gonna do some raining here in a little bit. They're saying about noon to one o'clock something like that but we're supposed to get some some severe weather but yeah uh if y'all watch this video all the way through you know give me a like give me a thumbs up thumbs down just something let me know what y'all think uh let me know what to talk about if i should talk about something different man look at this this is why we can't have nothing nice i'll tell you what people are fucking pathetic yeah let me know like what should i talk about should i do some camping videos i mean do i need to make my videos shorter or keep them about the same just y'all give me some feedback or something dude uh positive negative i don't care you know tell me say hey man your videos are pretty good or say hey man your videos suck either way i'm cool with it don't matter to me it ain't like i get paid for this i'm just doing it for fun that'll be something to look at when i'm older you know, YouTube's still around. I might have to save the video or something, but yeah, y'all, if y'all could, just give me some feedback. Let me know something. But until next time, peace out.